Big players are already in the crypto game. That's no secret. Creators and, and collectors can display their NFTs. Instagram's NFT sharing function is already old news. But what about the biggest player of them all? What about Apple? We have a big release. Will they be adding crypto support to the next iPhone? What's your thought on cryptocurrency right now? It's something that we're looking at. Will it tie in with the metaverse revolution somehow? What would the first Apple NFT look like? And what would the utility be? We're going to try to answer all of these questions in our video today. So stick around until the very end if you're an Apple fan, wondering when Apple's first NFT might be released, what their design will look like, and also how much they will cost. And I'm not giving anybody uh, investment advice, by the way. <laughs> so far, Apple has been very careful in answering questions about crypto, Web3, and NFTs. Uh, uh, it but why is Apple being so cautious here? Well, at the very least, Apple going Web3 would mean that crypto adoption would literally skyrocket. I mean, imagine it, they'd onboard almost 1 billion active users to crypto straight away. That's a huge step and also a big reputational risk. I'm not planning to in the immediate future to take crypto for our products. As a, as a mean of tender. That said, for crypto, Apple's rival is a mega opportunity. The media just put it this way. The future of crypto is entirely in Apple's hands. Nonetheless, there's a reason to think that the fruit-themed giant will be incorporating Web3 into its devices very soon. They recently added a tap-to-pay feature where you can literally hold up your iPhone to another iPhone and pay for something in crypto. But something really interesting here is that Apple recently published a job posting for a creative director with interests in Web3. And yes, that's exactly what the posting said. What about NFTs? I think it will take a while to, uh, to play out in a way that is for the mainstream uh, person. But look, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. What does this really mean? Well, as we know, Apple has always been particularly good at, well, not just inventing something new, but adapting that novelty into a comfortable user experience. You can think of the first MacBook or touchscreen displays. So what could it be? Well, let me remind you of the key parameters. It should already exist, it should have a huge potential, and also be uncomfortable to use for ordinary users. Personally, I'm pretty sure that this means the imminent release of NFTs from Apple. And yes, of course, going into cryptocurrencies is a good option. The new iPhone could store transaction information on a separate chip, for instance, turning the device into a crypto wallet with a high level of protection. But the job posting we mentioned was for the content marketing department. And it's fair to say, starting with NFTs is the less risky option here. NFTs can now be displayed on your Apple Watch face. Super big news because Apple is the kind of company that does not want to tarnish their brand. So here's what kind of NFTs Apple could release. And by the way, me and the guys got a bit hyped up and drew these examples ourselves. We're thrilled to share our newest product announcement. First up, we could expect NFTs that help to sell existing products and increase user interest in them. And many big brands have already actively used them to sell and provide a unique experience to their customers. It's the same sh just a higher price. Different mechanics are also possible here. Giving bonuses to NFT owners is the first thing that comes to mind. I mean, for instance, what if before the smart glasses came out, you could buy an NFT that would allow you to be among the first 1,000 owners? And also, it would be a unique collector's item in and of itself. And there's an important point here to note. Apple is a premium brand with a huge cult following. And one of the benefits it can get is the creation of a collector's item for its fans. After all, people have been collecting luxury goods for centuries, and that market is worth $1 trillion, according to Deloitte its estimates. With NFTs, you won't just make good money, but also create an exclusive experience for your favorite customers, creating a sense of community. Now, let's move on to the second type of NFT that could have been easily released by Apple. Collectibles. Cards such as Top Trumps or Super Bowl player collectibles. In the case of Apple, it could be design concepts for products that didn't go into production, turned into NFTs. Let's take the Apple car, for instance. But these would be 100% Apple patents. The very nature of an NFT would confirm that. And what about archival photos with Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak from the legendary Garage? But another important trend which is developing inside Web3 now are the so-called soulbound tokens. Now, according to Vitalik Buterin, it's an important building block in the beautiful world of Web3. Roughly speaking, it's your profile on the blockchain, an identity card, so to speak. This kind of NFT isn't tradable, but 
they are much easier to launch because they don't carry any marketing or reputational risks, right? And if we go back to Apple, let's say you're working at Apple Park on something really important alongside a team of nearly 150,000, the HR department could use NFTs to support the company's outstanding employees. For instance, let's say I fixed some important bugs in the Apple mobile AI. Well, I'd get an NFT as proof of the amazing job I did. Or let's say I referred a friend, I'd get an NFT as a reward there. Maybe I gave an outstanding speech at a conference and I got an NFT. Well, in the end, I'd have a collection that I could use to potentially exchange for a new Apple device. Also, through NFTs, I could vote for some changes in the office. For instance, what coffee my department gets for the coffee maker. The decision will be made according to the strength of my vote. That would depend on, you guessed it, my NFTs. Whatever you choose is up to you. But at Apple, we believe that you should have a choice. So when will we see a real Apple NFT? Well, it could be from six to 12 months if they get the right employee for the position. As for the price, well, let's give it a count. Apple is most likely to release its NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. Well, this is a leader among layer one, right? The price for minting an NFT here is fluctuating now around $70 to $300. Throw in some effective marketing, create some hype, and you've got a 300% markup that will probably mean that the cost of one token won't be less than the cost of an actual iPhone. The goal of Web3 has always been to create an alternative to how existing corporations are managed by enabling transparency and user participation in decision making. But now the development of this industry is a little stuck. And the main reason here is the fall of the main cryptocurrencies, the unavailability of software, and also the resulting investor pessimism. This is a good moment for giants like Apple to lead the process of decentralization and use the latest achievements of crypto enthusiasts for their own purposes. After all, the main question is, are you missing something fundamentally important by ignoring crypto? The temptation to innovate is too great, and even conservatives like the Cupertinos are quietly probing the waters, which resulted in a great desire to hire a creative director with experience in Web3. Like I wouldn't want to have anything to announce today. <laughs> We believe and we wait, because for the industry, Apple's foray into crypto is probably the most important thing in starting the transition to Web3. And we're so excited to see what you'll do with all of the new innovations introduced today. That's it for today. Remember, if you like the video, drop a like and subscribe so you're always up to date when we upload a new video. My name is Bradley, and I will see you in the next video.